Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm starting my title page, which is the first prompt for our Roxy Journal of Stitchery Field Notes version. So I'm gonna start with Edith um, and get that one sort of pieced and at least, you know, a little bit of an idea of where I'm heading. So I'm surrounded myself with lots of inspiration from all sorts of, I'll go through that in a minute, all sorts of things. Um, I've even started doing a little bit of sketching on some uh, calico here, but first of all, I need a base piece of fabric. Now my concertina is a combination of fabric and areas where I can sketch or add sketches, watercolors and things like that when that all happens, the adventure. Um, or put fabric in there as well. It just depends where it goes, but I've joined together an A4 page which has some fabric on it. I found them in the cupboard. They were going to be journal covers in the future, but never got around to using them all. Um, so I'm pretty much ready to go. I like the fact that the paper is in amongst it because it just gives it a little bit more structure. So it's not flippy floppy. So here's my front. I need to get myself something off of this piece of um, calico or... Um, muslin if you're in the states I think you guys call it so I just want to get a bit of a rough how big is it just sort of get a little trim it doesn't have to be exact because I'm always making it bigger than what it actually needs to be we'll just tear that strip actually because then we've got some bases ready for future props may as well get ourselves a little organized so that should be big enough to slide onto there yep a little bit of an overhang because that's what you need to make it look you know interesting so there's one might as well tear another one rip another one so in the last video, which was Sunday, I created this. The Saturday video, I created the uh, smaller version for my ocean theme or, you know, beach themed journal because I'm doing two. Um, so I thought I'm going to start piecing Edith. This little piece will just slide into here for a rainy day ready to go little template pop that out of the way now title page okay so I mentioned in the beginning of the video I'd really like to use these types of elements for Edith let me zoom up and show you a bit of you because I'm right up in your face so I've been gathering all of the stitcheries that uh, are incompleted so the brand Semco, um, My Art, um, go, whoops, just kick the camera, go back to when I was a kid, you know, 40 years ago, I was doing a lot of fancy work on these. It's sort of where I started stitching. And of course, we're rummaging through thrift stores to find elements of um, these that are stitched and using them in our work. So completed pieces. So my plan is this is going to be, I guess, the glue through the whole journal um, is these neutral backgrounds that already have a bit of a floral piece. Then I went and um, stained some um, lace, crochet bits, little bits, all sorts of bits, and created a bit of pop. Now I found this little guy in my travels as well. It's a kit that I picked up at a thrift store and I thought oh, I'll throw that in the pile and because I just you know can't help myself I did do a little bit of shopping. I think I mentioned in the video that I went online and found some of these packages and they have arrived. So it just gives you a bit of an idea of the artwork you might see if there's a listing. How do you get into this? Now, after I finished filming that video, I forgot to mention, there's the instructions if I do feel the urge to actually stitch it. 
So I'll just leave that to one side. Won't discard that yet, but I shall add this to the pile. Yeah, I forgot to mention in my video when I was formulating it where I got the idea from. So acknowledgement to Jennifer Clouston in her brand new book, Freedom, uh, Foolproof Freeform Embroidery. This. You probably have watched the flip through that I did on her book and I got to hear and I'm like, oh, love it. That is my inspiration for my backgrounds for my Edith journal. So in the blank spots will be stitching and collaging and whatever the prompt might be. But in the background of it all um, is, is this. So that's where I got the idea from. I showed the book in the video, but I just it slipped my mind to show you the collaging that um, inspired me for the Edith. Now, it so happens, see that fabric there? I have it in a blue. So I thought, I know, I've seen that before and I've got heaps of those and I've certainly got doilies with edges and I've got those little bits. So that is that is where I saw that idea. All right, so this one arrived in the mail. I'm going to add that to the pile. This one arrived in the mail. I spotted it. Um, these are all on Facebook Marketplace. I'm finding that's the best place to look. When you go to Etsy, it can be, you know, they're a little bit up there in price. I grabbed this one because the Edith one's going to allow me to do seasons. Um, I've got some fall inspiration, some little leaves. Now, you can certainly draw these. Like, don't think you've got to race out and buy these things. But you might be sitting on some and think, oh, there's a couple of those in the back of the cupboard. Grab them out because... They're just gorgeous. I love this detail as well. I love the fact that there's this um, text, the brands, you know, it's, it's very clever. Very clever, young Jennifer. So let's get ourselves a bit organized here and I'm just gonna group it a little. Get that screw on there, got my base talk about that in a moment and I've got some laces there's another one I used that in down the garden path created a path that meandered through my piece more lace this panel as well I think this is from this one's from my childhood I did the big piece of this but I never finished the little one little kitten it was a beautiful big cat so he's a bit cute um, and I also have this piece. It's like a, a velvety feel. Um, so there'll be pieces come out of that potentially as well. If I don't end up using it, like look at the irises. You know, it'll be certainly inspiring. Like look at this, has already been stitched into. How glorious. I got that from Melanie who has purveyor of textiles where you can just say, oh, that's nice. She posts photos every day. She's on Instagram. Um, yeah, and you just say, oh, I like that, and Melanie will put it aside for you. Now, um, what am I going to do? This. I wanted something to introduce the project, so I just started fiddling around with drawing some text and creating potentially a little morsel that I could add. So to do my letters I just did a bit of a guide like that and then started sketching in you know field notes and then I started playing with Edith's name as well I'm not sure how much room I'll have this might need to be a lot smaller once I start piecing my backgrounds I guess I'll know if that needs to be redone a fraction smaller but we'll see or it looks too chunky uh, I might need to just do you know, just a little bit of cursive writing. But anyway, I just thought I'd better start formulating that idea. Um, okay, where, what am I going to do first? Let's let's have a look at some of the fabric. So I've shown you that one. This one here is another one that I had in my cupboard, Riley Blake Designs. Uh, Honeybee, I can see. I don't know what else that's in. It's probably my three sisters. I don't know. I can see the word my. Is there another selvage? Nope. Riley Blake. Honeybee. 
at that. Isn't that just waiting to be chopped up into something? Maybe I start with something like that. Fussy cut out. No, not yet. Feature piece. And I also went looking for Kath Holden. Someone mentioned it on their videos that this might be something that could be used in your collaging. So that's a Kath Holden piece of fabric. Now that I've opened up and had a really good look at it, no, it's not going to work because I want to do Lucello inspired tones. So that's gone. That's good. We've vetted it out. This was the fabric that was on one of those journals I showed you in the last video. This has potential of taking some pieces out as well for a background. Little birds and buildings and but is it is it exactly what I want? Who knows? Hmm. So that's sort of floating around the desk as well. And I also found that. So specimen, sort of got that specimen look. It's got the botanical, not botanical, the, what's the word for animals? Botanical is words, um, plants. I don't know, someone will tell me in the comments. So that's got potential to be built in as a, a decorative element. All right, stop you be and go. Grab some, where was that little doily that when I was folding them up, thought, oh, that looks like something I could use, this one. And what else did I grab? I grabbed some plain fabrics. Another little piece of lace was sitting there on top of those. So that's where we're at. Let's take... Let's take that little guy out for now. This is why I wanted a bigger format my journal with this one because I just had a feeling that we would need the space to manoeuvre where the, the ocean one I went smaller with the Reader's Digest so I sort of feel like I could be you know little in my space I can't even speak I don't even know what I'm trying to say Pure linen. What's this a little tag that's stitched in? That's pretty, pretty darn cute. Whether we can get it in or not, because look at the space we've got. Might just be able to get. the size actually I was thinking I was going to cut it but no, it'll be too big it'll take up too much of the space am I hit did I hit record yeah I did um do I need that might be too many words because I want it's a title page so let's just assume that that gets removed and we're just bringing it down to that. We cut it there. We cut it there. So we get to see this. Can I slice that through there? I'd say so. That's too big. I think I just want this little, little piece. I'm going to cut it. If I don't use it, it doesn't matter because... Um, I'll use it, you know, somewhere. What a shame I've got to cut that flower. I don't want to. I'll just slither in here. Should I cut it at an angle to try and yeah, I will. I'll I'll work out how to how to work that corner out. Oh, I don't don't mind the logo there, you know, and it because it sets up the theme for the journal. I'm sort of liking that, especially if it's tucked down in the corner here. 
So let's just throw down some base fabrics as well. This is um, fairly thick and heavy, so it can be a bit of a challenge to stitch through. So I might use it sparingly, or do I just go for it? Just bear with me, guys. You can hear my brain thinking. I sort of think I want one of these images too because it's going to be sketchy. So what better way to introduce the fact that there's going to be a bit of drawing in there? What could we take that is quite long and lineal? Don't mind that guy there. That might be too small. Oh, look, let's just fussy cut out this fellow here to the side. Let's nibble you out, my friend. Another feature element, selvage could go, but doesn't need to. What are we going to do? Pull that down. Just, just sneak it in. And that would be cut off. I don't want to cut anything yet, just in case I change my mind. That would hide the fact that I'd have that little piece. Okay. What about this fabric? It works in with the Lucello, very much so. Any scraps that we can mm. that's such a dense design there. I'm sort of looking at this little corner. I don't know, I'm just gonna cut this little guy. I don't use it doesn't matter just goes back into the scraps a little piece oh, it's just about collaging elements together isn't it sort of felt like it needed to go that way sending the eye in a different direction is my theory doesn't mean it's correct but it did pop into my mind where's all my tea dye stuff I'm not it wasn't tea it was um, Parisian essence don't mind that either coming through oh, I just don't know if I'll be able to keep that little wording might it's getting pushed to the side. Don't mind that. What if that went up there? Just bear with me, guys, as I fiddle around. Something will come together. Always does. And this come through here. I like that flower. Is it the right way up? Nope. It's actually got to go this way. Oh, okay. All right. It's bigger than I thought. So, all right, let's just work with this guy. I think what's throwing me is the colour of this. Oh, 
and quiet as she thinks. I like how this wishes through the whole thing. I like how that could just literally be rough stitched into there. Those leaves could come forward, but I think that's got potential. I don't even mind that it's a bit squished and puckery. <laughs> You either embrace the puckers or you don't want the puckers. I don't like that. That feels like it's the gel. Pulling it all together. I like that up there. Where am I putting my words? I still haven't found a home for that. Maybe I just can't keep that wording. It's the colour. I think it's the colour. Mmm. It's interesting, isn't it? Sometimes your best best laid plans. What about this lace? This fell out in my hand as I walked over with a mitt full of fabric. I like that peeking through. I like that peeking through. Like that, like that. Um, what else have I got here? See, that's a better colour. Look at that. Okay. That's interesting. Maybe I get... Where am I putting my words? Field notes. Just whoop, whoop, whoop. Get back to... Where are we going to have field notes? Oh, yeah, we, we've got to have field notes. Let's just detach this. It's awful big the way it is. But what if I split it down? Trying to keep it as neutral as I can. What if that goes through there? Okay. Yep. Happy with that. And then this little guy. Don't be too short at the letters there. I'm ripping it off. I just do... A bit off. Oops. So we want that scrappy look too, don't we? I feel like it needs to be in the center, but off center. But I'm losing a bit of my flower. Am I okay with that? Peeking through. Maybe it's got to just sit here above each other. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm okay with that. Five letters. Five letters. So that's okay. Uh, yep, I like that. I like how that's peeking through. We're getting there somewhere. I like that lace. Can we get a little bit of this in? I'm wondering. Irish linen. Maybe I just do. Mm, I don't know. Maybe I just do the edge. Is it enough of an edge? Will anyone even realise what that is? See if that got cut there. Same code. So if that slid in here. So you just see, it won't mean anything to anyone other than me and you guys when you go, oh, that looks like it's from. I, li I like that. Can I pull everything down? Yes, I can. 
I can shorten all that up. Field notes. Now I've got a bit more space. So what if, I don't mind those lines. What if that sit in there? How much of that little script am I seeing? None. So I need to back it back up just to that top edge. That's my tribute to Jennifer because she is going to be through this book. I can guarantee. Maybe I could pull that over. Have a bit of that scrolly detail there. Don't want to lose that. I think I can sneak that into there. There's a slight little bit of the... But that's, I'm, I'm okay with that because I can always add it somewhere else. So am I, am I ready to cut it? That can come down a little bit. That's good. I like how that's lining up to that. Okay, just do it, girl. Maybe I'll go right through. Maybe not. Maybe I do. Yes, I do. Go right through. Okay. So we've got this little bit, this will anchor the top. Little bit of text. I'll leave a bit of that fabric in behind. No, it's such a waste. Let's, let's sneak that out. That's the top piece. Pin it down, girl, quick, quick, quick. Where's my little pins? Oh, they're not here. Of course they're not. So this little guy sits here. Okay. Then we know we want this little guy with the scroll. It needs to drop down a fraction. That there and that there. All right, so there's our top. So the next thing is to get this little fellow, this twig in. That's pretty good. And get this little guy in. It's a little bit covered. Was there a better flower? I don't think so. Doesn't matter it's covered. You hear me? talking to myself is that little guy what about him um, give me a moment guys just having a little extra look through my piece of fabric next to that flower is that guy I'm just going to nibble him out and if we don't use him, it's all good. It can go in. It can go in my stash, and it may appear later in a piece. So I'm okay with that. All right, there we go. Now it's it's not bold enough. Pretty but just as a little morsel somewhere on a page. Oh, this project's going to be great. I think that is going to anchor here. Pull that down. Ah, yeah, see, that I can manipulate. So that's all good. I'm going to now pin this. A little black line there that I need to disguise. So I'm thinking maybe... A little bit of lace coming through the top here. Might not be the right lace, but we'll do it. Just that little morsel there. Bend it this way a little. Put 
that there. That'll just take the eye away from those lines. Only you and I will know it's there. Okay, just building up texture. Now, if I can manipulate this little guy to be a little bit more visible, just finding that sweet spot. Maybe I tilt him. No, it needs to be straight because it's bugging me that it's off centre like that. It's bandit woofing it. I might just let that flap a little bit. It'd be nice to have a bit of texture, you know, let that sit up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's torn. Yes. So I will stitch around here like that. And it'll look like that's been ripped. Oh, a peekaboo. <laughs> I tell you, love it when a plan comes together. Sometimes it can be such a struggle. Okay, field. <clears throat> Notes. And we're keeping it on top of each other, but a little bit of a gap. Because a gap like that, oh, I've got an idea. I could bring bits through. So this was, a, this was a table runner I cut up that I was going to make a scarf out of, but it never happened. You know how it goes. So I've dyed it because it was so white. And now I've got this nice little pile of fabrics that are all similar. Just um, roughing that up a little bit. Where's my little scissors? fussy cut this out a little like just a little morsel that I can put in as another little element maybe peeking through here maybe not because <laughs> I don't have as much room as I think I do do I no oh I like that Okay, it's another layer. So I can stitch around that sort of, it's there, but not there. It doesn't be, it's not part of it, but feels like it could be. See these little leaves too. I wonder if I can get them in somewhere. Give a little stem. This is the best part of the whole project. The, what can you make out of it? Collaging. Creating layers. I need to go to looking through the rest of the pile here. There might be something better. Yeah, I like that. Just more layers. Feels more like the plant is thicker and more dense. More like that. That's where it's going. So I'm layering the same fabric on top of this fabric. So, yeah. See, look at that. How interesting is that as a texture? I think we need a bit of that, don't we? Is that going to come to bits when I cut it? <laughs> I bet it does. Maybe I don't need it. Save it. Save it. Because I had this, didn't I? Oh, I like that. Just a little bit. And then that little bit might do the trick. Wow. No, I sort of feel like my lines are a bit... When it was sitting there, I see that line from the words down. It's a bit, bit liney. I don't want to cover that. Reduce it, girl. It's big. 
you can reduce that and then bring it down. Yeah, I like that piece of fabric on it, but <sighs> what's the bottom like? It's scalloped. Maybe I can just have it peek through. I'm sure those will appear somewhere else. Maybe I can go this way. Maybe I can cut that corner off so it's not such a line. There you go. That, that's what's helping. Cut that so it's a little softer and it's not as liney. Uh, it's still not sure, but I'm going to just pin it there for now. And maybe I can soften... Oh, I need Edith's name, don't we? Maybe that can go in. Where's my sketching of text on Calico? It needs to be this sort of one. I could stamp this as well. I did grab out some stamps too when I was hunting around for supplies. It's like, oh, where's my stamps? I'll show what I mean. So I don't even mind with the lines. Yeah. Field notes, Edith Holden. Yeah, I like that. So I've got a butterfly fabric that could be used. Um, it's very neutral. Are we going to stay neutral or are we going to bring in colour? Hmm, okay, I just I had this box sitting beside me and I'm like, no, we don't want to go down that path. Save that for a rainy day. I didn't end up getting this in. And I think it's a colour issue, but that's all right. It'll be just become part of my morsels also for a rainy day. I need something in there. Where's my scrap? Fabrics, Ooh, or I pop a bit of Luchello in there. Oh, goodness, my table has just exploded. I'm just going to go to my scraps of Luchello and see if anything inspires me. Um, could bring a little bit of red in, but be bold. don't think I can feature anything like that yet. I think I won't do it justice, so we might leave that out of it. Could bring in a little bit of that. Okay. Neutral has just turned into something. Not neutral. I might just get a piece of fabric in this bottom corner here. And then I feel like I've covered all my surfaces. Is there anything in here that... Just need a little piece. Come on, girl. Must be something in here. That matches the tone of the piece. That match? No. Oh, it can't be this hard, surely. Just pick something. What's that? Oh, okay, that's that's actually from a doily. So that fabric will be good. I like that. Up there, that there. Now it's too, too similar to that. Actually, there's this fabric here. This came from Rachel in a pack of fabric. So I might pop that in there, that little bit of texture. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Take it a little higher. No use being too skimpy. Okay. 
So now we've got a little texture there, but tones with all of the other fabrics. My Edith words could sneak over there. That's good, like that. My lace, I think, can come right over. I don't think it's as liney now. I might be wrong, but I think I'm happy with that. We've got plants from this fabric coming forward and back. Forward, yep, okay. I think we can pin that. I'm going to have all of this peeling up a little bit so it feels like that this is being you know, cut out to reveal the fabric underneath. I could do this sliding up just a little bit. I caught it. Just takes a little bit of fiddling to get it where you want it. So that's good. See, now I can see this. And if that's peeled up in the air, exposing the peekaboo just feel like we need something here to soften this edge so at this stage do we add a little bit of the cello print where's the scraps blue up there. Nope. Nope. Mm. Oh, what's that? Rose. You say they're essences. What would that look like? No, it's going to compete with the writing. No, nope, just not quite right. Um, put a clip on that. Pins are dangerous holding your scraps together, Corinne. So we all know what happens. I just sort of feel like I need to bring in a little bit of the Lucello fabric at the beginning of the story. What if I create a tab to turn the page? Is it going to look like a blaring red blob? There was some thin laces here as well. Where are they? That might help me join in. that to that. Don't mind that. But I still feel like I could do something else there. Okay, what if we go back to this piece that we were cutting form out of? Oh, isn't that pretty? I know I've got more of this, so like I've got a whole, whole table runner of this here might have something that Bring in some more foliage. These are like little roses. Let's just nibble. I don't know what time it is. What if that came in there? And then Edith, yeah, I like that better. Boulder. That's better. Whole new piece of foliage coming through, which is what it's all about. Is that the right way? That's better. I feel like I need something there. Is that okay? What else is here? We've got a leaf. Yeah, here we go. Let's just get this little guy out and see if we can So as for the prompts that are coming that we don't know yet, 
This is pretty much the, the system I'll put in place to build a background then slide in the prompt. Yeah, I like that. Um, slide in the prompt and go from there. So any text I think I'll do on Calico like this, create, you know, something and then rip it out as a morsel and then stitch it all in together. Could stitch this prior to putting it on here, but I think I'll do it all together because it'll really help make it feel cohesive. Um, pins. I think we're ready just to pin it down. I feel like it could be a tab, you know, to invite you to turn the page. I'll just put that a little bit off center. I can fiddle around with that. Do I bring it back? You'll still feel like it's peeking through. Do I take a little bit off? I don't want to make them too itty bitty. So my homework will be to invisible stitch it all down. Um, then come back through and decide do I want to do any seed stitch or decorative stitches to add even more layers of interest to the piece or, you know, I'm happy with how it is and leave it at that. I'll trim this all off once it settles in because fabric moves when you stitch. So little bits and pieces hanging off the bottom, like you don't want your book to be sitting on the shelf and you've got all this. It can get damaged and folded and crease but the top I'm not too worried about these pieces peeking out the top it just makes it feel a little bit more interesting where's that little bit did I cut one of them off I might just add that I like it and it seems to work with those shapes and it's from Rachel so let's just do that a little bit of Rachel there Okay, another pin there. I think we're, I think we're much, much, much closer. I didn't get a butterfly in. Mm, possible get a butterfly in. So the Lucello hasn't popped out yet. I just feel like that might be a little bold. Having said that, if the next page, where's the journal? So that, a uh, couple more pins, girl, before it all falls off on your hand. So don't even mind that that's hanging out there. Maybe that's the tab. Oh, yeah. Let's assume that I find a piece of fabric at some point, other than this, and it sits there, and it's the tab. Okay, I like that idea. What have we got? In my scrap bucket. This also came to the party. Can't imagine there's a scrappy bit of perfect Lucello in there. You never know. There's another bit of that. Mm. Just excuse me while I that work with Lucello? Not really. The Lucello for the newbies is the brand of fabric. If you're wondering why she keeps saying. See, there's a bit of blue. Picks up on that blue there. But before I do, I need to get the pile of fabric that is going to be woven through this. Does that work with that? Yes, I believe it does. So that's got potential to be a tab. That's a piece of fabric out of a, you know, a um, placemat. No, I'm not, not sure. Not sure. No. 
Leave it. Leave it, girl. Maybe it is lace. Maybe it's a, a lace tab. A cluster of bits that stitches on there to turn the, you know, it, it'd sit out here. How are we going for time? Oh, we're right. Maybe it looks like I sort of like that edge, but I don't like how that flower is coming. I like the shape. Mm. Where's the butterflies? Can we get a butterfly in before we? I don't think so. It's good. Eliminate it. What about... Is there anything else? No. 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 Script. See, sometimes things like these things bits like that was the inside of something some french fabric this little scrappy bit could be put on there as the tab i don't mind that idea and then soften it and leave it all scrunchy like that Get rid of all the red. I'll have to get the thingamajiggy to clean it. So if that went there like that and was stitched on, I'll just pin it and see. I can always have a little think about it. But I feel like it needs another layer of, in of interest. What's this here? We've got a scrappy bit of this dyed fabric. That come off around that. Maybe. See, I'm trying to create texture and interest. Like a uh, snippet, um, what would we call it? A cluster of yummy little bits of fabric. Okay, and then something in there. We need like a little feature. What have we got? What have we got? Nothing kicking around. Like a bit of that would be nice. Will it come undone? Does it matter? <gasps> going to do it. I'm just going to nibble out a little bit of this. Once it's all stitched down with invisible stitch, it'll probably... Hold. Okay. Uh, needed to be longer. Goodness me. I know there's more of it on the piece. It needed to be a little bit lineal longer. I'll just leave it. Oh, my goodness. Or do I make it just a morsel there where you put your finger? I'll make it longer. I've blimbin' buggered it now, haven't I? <laughs> so that would nestle into there like that. It sort of covers that. If it was smaller and just an odd shape in the middle there, I don't mind that. Looks like it's part of the cluster. That's probably interesting. I don't think it needs to be long. I think it just needs to nestle in there in amongst all those other bits. And I still think we need something there, like a little flower or a little, where's my lace bits? 
so I'm building a cluster. What's in here? You can hear fudge snoring. Like we do regularly. It's like one of these, if it was dyed, would be gorgeous. To suit the colour palette. Maybe a bit big. I'll find something. There'll be something here. I'm not going to waste your time as I rummage through goodness knows what to find goodness knows what. I just don't want to upend this because it's getting bigger than Ben-Hur, this pile in front of me. Okay, put it away. What else have we got? Anything else? Last chance. Last little flick through. Nope. 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 Nope, but all very good bits. What about, no, don't finish your sentences, do you, girl? Just looking at these little crochet bits. No, it's too gorgeous to not use elsewhere. I'll find something. There'll be something that I can put right there to finish that little cluster. So there we go, guys. There's the... My bits have fallen off. Maybe even that's enough. Maybe it just needed to be reorientated just to make a little spot where your thumb would go. Other than an arrow saying, please hold there, don't touch my work. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's funny. Um, all right. I think we're, we've got a plan. That is going to then be attached to here one day. But there's my title page. Field notes, Edith Holden. I might even be able to stitch smaller somewhere. Um uh, volume 6 or Roxy Girls or I, I don't know. We'll see how it evolves. There might be a, another little spot that I can put put that. But that's good. All right. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you have a great day. I'm going to toddle off and um, get, get this all stitched down and, yeah, keep it pretty neutral. Maybe I pick up on that navy blue and do some blue. I, I don't know. Who knows? May the venture, adventure begin. All right, guys, look after yourselves and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye. Hi, guys, I'm back. I was just tidying up my desk because it literally had exploded with fabrics, lace and bits, having just pieced that together. And I forgot that I was going to show you some stamps that I've pulled out of my um, uh, snap collection and I thought may pop up and be handy to have for these prompts. So this one here is leaves. So I guess if you did want to invest in some stamps, you could Google uh, rubber stamps leaves and see what pops up. I'm not sure if these are available still, the Tim Holtz ones that I'm showing you, because I have had them for a few years. So there's that one. This one here caught my eye. Look at this, enjoy the journey. I say this all the time when people go, oh, I'm so new to slow stitch and I just can't believe this just looks like so much fun. Enjoy the journey. So I thought that is just so me. So grab that out. This little guy um, is worth a consideration for when we're doing birds. Found this one. This is an Australian company, Dark Room Door. Presume they ship everywhere and they also wholesale. So you should be able to find that one, no problems. Um, this one here, I think, came with a fabric pack I bought. And these are Australian ones. So that might be handy for me when I do my beach theme. Some leaves. So I thought I'd better grab that out. This one here um, is a Stamperia brand. I think, yeah, that's Stamperia. That felt very Edith Holden to me. So I thought that might be worth having. 
This is a leaf one, but it came on the front of a magazine. So it's uh, it'll be a lot cheaper than the um, Tim Holtz one. So sometimes the scrapbooking magazines that are at the news agencies have stamps on them that might be able to use, and it's not a bad way of collecting a little pack of stamps. These are the same. They're on the front of magazines. So some mushrooms, dandelion, um, floral. And if you're wondering what these cases are, they're like video cases or DVD cases. Um, I think I bought them online and they're great for keeping, you know, your stamps in. This here I found some text. I think that was a Kayser Craft stamp. I used that a lot when I was journaling. And then I just found these. I don't know where they've come from, but that there is date and title. And I thought, ooh, that's a beauty. Some dots. Um, text, which is 20 years from now. You And that's just philosophy and some general text. So I'm not sure what they're from. It concerns me that they're sitting in there by themselves. I, I would have thought that they are probably, I don't know, different. I don't know. Not sure where they come from, but please, I found them. So this little pack of bits and bobs will just sit to one side in case I decide to, you know, add some stamps to my pieces. I think definitely, look at that. I can't believe that. All right, doesn't hurt to go ratting through your cupboards. You never know what you're going to find. All right, guys, thanks very much for joining me. And yeah, I'll say goodbye again. Bye.